Happy Friday, everybody. Um, you, I am coming live to you from my bathroom. As you can see, my shower is behind me. The lighting here is a little bit funky. Um, we have a window to my left that has a lot of natural light, so I did put on some of the overhead lights as well. Um, so some of you guys um, have been asking me. I actually went to a class last night to teach a class at my kids' old preschool, which was so much fun. Um, I wish I'd have my little oily glove when my kiddos were younger, but um, there was a gentleman there who used to always kind of like help the kids and stuff like that, and he was like, oh my God, you don't look any different now. We all say that, right? That's a very kind thing to say to people. Um, but I think legitimately there are people like, you know, I have obviously gotten older and I've aged, but we all look, you know, some people look more. He hadn't aged either. Anyway, my point is it was a nice day. But in the same breath, I have to say that because over the last year and a half, I really have started putting so much more good in and removing so many of the chemical toxins that I put onto my skin, I personally feel like my skin actually looks younger and more vibrant than it did even like a year and a half ago. Okay, um, obviously it is the new year. It is not a new you. You are the same amazing person. If anybody is a big Rachel Hollis person, they're gonna know what I'm talking about. N same you new mood okay right so we have we don't want to say we're going to change ourselves because listen at the end of the day like i'm 43 years old i'm not really going to change myself um i am going to you know kind of want to make myself better okay so we set goals for ourselves, even if they're small and incremental but anyway a lot of people have been asking me what i've been doing for my skin okay um a lot of people know i've been using the essential oils sorry i just want to remove this they know that I've been educating about them. I talk about to children. I talk to older people, okay? Um, but I was actually thinking, because a friend of mine actually did a video, um, and she was talking about um, self-care, okay? Um, and one of the main reasons why we need to take care of ourselves is because we are the only person on the planet that is us. And if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else is going to do it for us. Obviously, you want a team of people who support you, but no one's going to make you exercise. No one is going to make you... Um, eat better, you have to want to do that for yourself. So it's a new year, okay? And you can kind of like, new mood, all right? So here are some of the tricks and trades. I'm gonna give you guys little samples of stuff. I am actually thinking that probably in February, it's a whole month about love, okay? But I'm thinking it'd be fun to do a class after Valentine's Day that's talking about self-care and self-love and how do you take care of yourself. As women, as moms, we tend to put ourselves way, way, way back in the burner. But the problem is the more that we do that, we're actually not really giving anything positive out to the universe and we're becoming less of ourselves and we don't wanna get lost in that, right? We wanna be amazing women, we wanna have amazing jobs and careers and be amazing wives and amazing moms, but in order to do that, we have to take care of ourselves. and there is nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. I always say like everybody should allot for at least an hour a day of exercise, whether it be like laying in a floor and doing restorative yoga to going for a run, whatever you need to do in your body, it's also important to take a day of rest, okay? Um, sleeping as much as possible, drinking as much as possible, um, oh, I'm sorry, drinking as much water as possible. As I always say, body weight divided in half, is the amount of ounces you need to drink in a day. So if you're 100 pounds, you need to drink 50 ounces of water every day, okay, to really be flushing your system and be keeping your body hydrated because remember, you're hydrating today for tomorrow. So you're always in a constant state of hydration. All right, so the most important thing that I will tell you I've implemented in my life, and if anybody knows Jen Maganero, she has talked about this incessantly, is we all drink a antioxidant drink called Ningxia Red. Now, a lot of people have seen me on the soccer field like this, they'll ask me if I'm drinking wine. I, everyone knows I love my red wine. I'm not drinking wine at eight o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning. This is actually is a bottle that has, um, I put two ounces of the pureed um, drink in here and they fill the rest with water. Okay, I like to use the bottles, they're fun, they're easy, and they're usually transportable, okay? So I drink this every day, two ounces. Two ounces of this, this is, um, really dense nutrients I'm putting into my body. So not only, the most important thing to realize about your skin is your skin is obviously our biggest organ, but it's the last resource. So when you're actually um, starting to see inflammation or redness or hives or something, that means the inside of your body is super inflamed. So when you flush your body with mass amounts of antioxidants, what you do is you actually enable your body to calm down and your immune system gets stronger, okay? Um, I eat relatively well, I try to have a balance. Um, some would even say eat really, really well, but I still don't feel like I get the um, kind of antioxidants that I need in a day to keep my immune system high. And as I, you guys all know, it's very severe asthmatic, so I'm always looking to support my immune system. That is like far most the most important thing because 
it is winter time. I do not want to get sick. I do not want to, I do not want to take any more medication than I have to. I want to support my body and let my body do what it needs to do for itself. So every day, okay? Two ounces, super easy. Kids love it. They can take it to school. It's not a big deal. If you think it's too sweet, add some seltzer to it or just be like, you know what? It's good for me. Who cares? And then you're kind of like checking your list off the things, just like taking a really good multivitamin pack of vitamins. You want to have really good nutrients, just like you want to buy really good kale or really good spinach when you go to the supermarket. Obviously, putting really good food into your body. Lots of greens. I have a green smoothie that I do every day. It has a whole avocado and it has lots of greens and it has a chocolate protein powder to give me a little bit of something. It has peptides in it because that's extremely good for your hair, skin, everything, okay? So obviously I'm putting really good stuff into my body, drinking a lot of water, flushing myself with antioxidants every day. So that's gonna help inside. And the less inflamed my body is inside, the healthier my body is. So it's going to make your skin radiate, okay? Now, on top of this, I've always liked to say this, I'm not a DIYer, right? I don't really like to do, like, make my own big projects. So now I just have to say that I'm basically been lying, because at the end of the day, I'm not like that when it comes to, like, putting together a project, but I am like that when making, like, quick, simple solutions, morning gin, um, for my skincare routine. All right, so I'm gonna go through just a couple quick things for you guys, and then I am gonna put together a class at the end of, I think February, as I said, self-care and self-love. And we're gonna do this for you guys, and we're gonna talk about how we do stuff, how simple it is, um, how it's changed us. So I want you guys to like post questions below here. A lot of you guys are at work, and you guys can ask us questions later, but this is just super, like very basic things for you guys to learn about, okay? All right, so you obviously want all good stuff going into your body. Now, remember the fact, 80, there is a study that was said the average woman puts 300 chemicals on her body a day. I know that sounds ridiculous. They say 80 before breakfast. What they are talking about is our toothpaste, our hair, our um, hairspray, you know, lotions, shampoos, conditioners, dry shampoos, um, mascara, makeup, anything like that. So the more you remove those toxic chemicals from the body, the healthier your body's gonna become because your liver doesn't have to process all that stuff all the time. And when your liver is constantly working to process things, it actually ages us. So the healthier you can keep that and the less toxicity in your body, obviously the better you're gonna be, all right? So here are a couple of quick things that I do on like a general daily basis. 90% of the time, I work out like six days a week, super early in the morning. So when I come home from taking a shower oh, from the gym, the first thing I do, when I jump in the shower, obviously like super sweaty and everything like that, as I use our charcoal soap, okay? So I love this charcoal soap, and I will tell you, it's a little banged up right now. I like put it in half right now. It smells so good. Um, my kid, oh, Both my girls use this as well. It is great for getting in purifications out. So if you are... Um, if you have kids who are acne prone or even for yourself. So I use this after sweating. Um, what I do is I take my I have a little spin brush that like I got at CVS and you can see how it's kind of just brown. And I put it on here just a little bit and then I do my whole face while I'm in the shower. It helps to get out, your pores are all open. I know isn't the charcoal soap amazing? I'm like, your, por your pores are all open at that point. So you wanna get out all the gunk that you just sweated out. As we get older, okay, the top layer of our skin um, actually becomes, not that this isn't true when you're younger, you want to get that top layer of your skin off because that actually allows for the part of your body that's radiant. Like we're always talking about, oh, I want that dewy glow like when I was 20. So it's really removing that top layer of your skin. So obviously sweating every day is going to be amazing for your skin and your pores, but getting that off, okay? So this little baby in the shower with the charcoal soap everywhere. Um, charcoal, I will tell you generally, um, this is infused with a couple essential oils, which I love. So it does not, people ask me all the time, is it dehydrating your skin? It is not. It's getting the impurifications out Okay, um, my kids, girls, acne in the back, they use it all the time. Um, I use it sometimes on my back if I leave like something in too long. I actually use it all over my body. I just take like my scrub and just put it all over my body. Okay, it's super, super easy. So that's my first recourse when I go to the gym in the morning just to kind of get everything out. Then I just rinse my face off, okay? Jump out of the shower. And the next thing I do is I actually, so I'm gonna show you guys this first. So this is rose water with glycerin in it, okay? You can buy this on Amazon, you can get this at um, Whole Foods. It smells amazing, um, I love it. This is great just by itself, like I'll take this and put a little lavender spray and spray my house with it or my pillows, but it's super, super hydrating for your skin. So what I do is I come home, after I get out, like you kind of dry yourself off, sorry, is I have these little bottles, super easy, okay? Little spray bottle like this. So what I do is I fill it with my, with my rose bottle, water, and a couple drops of um, two different essential oils. One of them is in the, some, um, one of them is frankincense, okay? Frankincense is 
amazing for your skin. Cleopatra was known to have actually bathed in it. So I take it and I just spray my face. I'm like, just go like this. I spray my face with it, okay? Kind of to let things set. I will also tell you, you can take this rose water and put peppermint into it. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when Evian was super popular, you said that spray that come out in the summertime when you're like hot and sticky and you kind of want that, like you want to get rid of the dew, but you want to do something good for your skin. Take the rose water, a little bit of peppermint essential oil, spray your face and it cools your whole face down, which is amazing. Um, it gives you that. Hey, Melissa. Okay. All right. So that's what I do next and just let it sit because you're just misting yourself like you would do anything. Okay. All right, now, this is what you guys are gonna learn when you come to the class, which is my favorite part. This, okay, is my little magic bottle of serum. Now, I'm not gonna lie, um, the company I work with has amazing skincare line. It's called the Art Line. Um, so I just take a little drop like this, okay, you don't need a lot, and just rub all into my skin after doing that. So the Art Skincare Line, I am a huge fan of. Uh, my oldest daughter uses it all the time. This is their cleaner that's in our shower. They have an entire cleaning line. Um, and they have intensive moisturizer that I use as well in the wintertime. Um, but this is just some of the like general basics that I use. If you do not want to at all do anything that is like you have to do anything, you just want to be able to get it and have it shipped to you, that's absolutely an opportunity. But I think it's important to let people know that it's super easy to do this stuff um, all the time. All right, so this is my little magic bottle in here. This has essential oils, okay? So let's just go back, because there's a difference between we talk about essential oils and a carrier oil. So a pure grade essential oil, okay, is what, what I talk about. You could drop an entire bottle on your clothes right now and it will not stain it. If it is just 100% the essential oil, it will not stain your clothes, which I think is pretty remarkable. I mean, I would be devastated right now, um, but it will not actually stain your clothes. If you're getting something that has a synthetic in it, generally what happens is when they have a synthetic, there's probably a carrier oil, and we do talk about carrier oils. A carrier oil is something like argon oil, or rosehip oil, or grapeseed oil, or fractionated coconut oil, or even olive oil, okay? It is something that you would consider to be a base. So you wanna make sure the essential oil you're putting onto your skin is pure, okay? Um, also, because if I'm rubbing it on why after I'm getting dressed, or like if I'm refreshing myself, I don't wanna have that grease get on my clothes. Um, so this actually has a combination of rosehip oil in here, argon oil, in the winter time I use avocado oil. Okay, these are all very simple things. As long as they're cold pressed, you can buy them on Amazon, you can get them at any of your local Whole Foods stores, even some other grocery stores will sell them, super easy, okay? Um, this is a four ounce bottle. So I put in equal, I probably put a quarter, you know, like of each one of them. So it fills up to about the half line, okay, throughout the thing. So I'm not make. this is gonna last me a long time. I don't know if you guys can see this, because it's blue, but it goes up to here. This is gonna last me months, okay? People will spend fortunes on face serums, like up of $250. So I have never been one of those people who invested terribly much into what I was putting on my face. Um, so for me, this is super simple. Um, you know, as I said, there are, there is, they have an incredible um, face serum that I actually have, I have on order that's coming back. It feels like there's like lily pads going all over your face. I know a couple of people who use it. It smells really, really good. My sister uses the entire collection, but I still make this stuff. So what I do is I put in six different essential oils, okay? One of them being frankincense because you always want to put frankincense on your skin every day, okay? I put um, in a dropper like this, I probably put 20 drops of each. I swoosh those around the bottom because you want to get the essential oils together, mixing together, and then you add your carrier oil. So then every day, just shake it up twice a day, a couple drops in my hand, put it on. Um... If you're going like last night before I went to teach my class, I wanted to kind of like have myself like feel a little bit more radiant because I knew it was in there. I'll just put a little bit on there, okay? And then I'll, again, I'll take a little bit of the spritzer and put it on his top. The good thing is when you're actually, you can, um, they have a setting serum that they talk about, but when you actually want to hold the hydration into your skin, when you put the rose water on again afterwards, that sounds really good. Um, afterwards, it actually sets everything and so holds the moisture in. So you're getting like a little bit of like the dewy glow from using the essential oils. Um, and you're actually getting the moisture being held. Now, that said, the one thing I've to talk about, which is my number one <laughs> reason why my skin looks good, I'm obsessed with sunscreen. Um, I use, this is my fit now, hold on a second. Doo, doo, doo. There it is. I use 50 
all year round. Okay. Um, there is just as much toxins and kind of the UVs coming at you at any time of year. Like, I don't know if anybody's ever gone skiing and they've got like the raccoon eyes because the sun is definitely further away. We don't feel warm. We feel cold, but you're still getting the same kind of rays going onto your skin. Okay. You're just not actually feeling it in the same way. I use 50 every day all over my face. Okay. Um, you could definitely use less than that. My skin is very, very, very fair. So I've always said, nope, just, I'm just going to do the 50. It's easier for me for years. I was using years and years and years. I was using baby, um, sunscreen. So now I'm super excited. They have a sunscreen that came out. That's 50. Um, it actually is good for the environment. Cause a lot of times, like if you guys have ever traveled, you're not allowed to, actually allowed to use a lot of, um, sunscreens cause it's killing off the, like the, um, reefs. Um, it's hurting the sea turtles along with the straws. So you cannot get away with a day without keeping your skin healthy without a lot of sunscreen. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That is super, super important. And you want to find one that's not going to clog your pores. Okay. I'm a huge fan of this one. All right. So that's kind of what I do every day. Oh, just kidding. I'm a liar. I use eye serum every day. So this was something I had never really, um, done. So we all know like this whole part of our skin is super soft and very fragile, right? And we're supposed to be super nice to it like this. Um, so this eye serum is jam-packed with antioxidants. And remember, what do antioxidants do? They reduce inflammation. And when you reduce inflammation, your body stays healthier, okay? So most people are using amazing eye serums and they're spending a fortune on them. And this one is a really good price point and works really well. And when I tell you, you need a very little bit of a little bit, anyone can contest who uses this stuff. You only need a little bit and they always say that, but if you almost use too much, your skin's like, I'm all set. I don't need it. It's you'll know. Um, so I put this on every day as well. Obviously I'm doing this in a little bit backwards, but the last thing I want to share with you guys is when I am in the shower. Okay. So a lot of people will, when I was younger, you guys are going to laugh at this. I actually used to take, um, Vaseline before when I used to get out of the shower and put it all over my body. Yep, yeah. that was before I realized that Vaseline was actually closing down every pore in your body. And if you really actually covered your body in <laughs> Vaseline, you die because your body can't breathe. So, okay. Um, and then I started using different kind of like oils. Like I remember years ago, Neutrogena had one that you could put like the shower oil on and stuff like that. I think it was like a sesame oil. I will tell you the quickest, most easiest thing to do, and it costs about four bucks is coconut oil. This is cooking coconut oil. Okay, you can see the tops off like this. I have a spoon in the shower and my kids use this as well. I take a scoop of it when my skin is wet and I put it all over my body. Now I'll be honest with you, I actually do not like at all the smell of coconut. I hate the taste of it. Um, but as far as like, this is pretty benign. And as soon as you rub it in, it goes away. You can definitely add another essential oil to it if you want to, but it's super hydrating for your skin. Like even just taking this now, like I was talking to my mom the other day who was super dry skin. And obviously again, your dry skin is coming from dehydration, but um, I put it on all the time. So I do it when my body is a little bit wet. That includes like my neckline, my shoulders, everything, my whole body. And because it's so hydrating, it will keep all the moisture in as well. So it's a super easy hack that you guys can do. Less money you're spending and listen, like, I mean, this one's from Trader Joe's. I've gotten them at Target before. So you just want to make sure as, they're, as long as they're organic, you and want everything, any kind of carry oil, you want it always to be cold pressed and unrefined. Okay. That's the best kind, but that doesn't, it, it's usually like they're super cheap. Um, oh yeah, Jen, you use the face serum. I remember we went away, you used that. Um, it smells like, it feels like. I don't know, like lily pads going on your face. It's amazing. So I alternate between those two, okay? But I want to let people know that these are like really quick little things that can be made that are super easy. Um, so obviously, I haven't, I haven't had to go out and buy a lot of products, all these products I have, and this is lasting me a super, super long time, okay? So from like an economic standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. All right. Um, oh, I know what I was also going to tell you guys. So I actually go... And every hydrolonic acid is what helps all of our skin look younger. Okay. So the entire art collection actually has, and their creams have hydrolonic acid in it. I actually went out last summer and bought 
This is powder. You can get this on Amazon, just like this. And they also sell um, liquid, which is actually in my Amazon cart right now because I want to start using it. It is so good for your skin. So you can actually add the powder or the liquid to anything to, like I would say I'm probably gonna add it to my rose water spray that will help you. Um, so it will help with those fine lines um, the more you use it. Um, again, these are all little things I put together super quickly, but you can also buy all the products that are already pre-made um, that are just easy. You don't have to worry about even taking five minutes out of your life, but you can, and it's super easy. So remember, the whole point of this is good stuff in, less bad stuff going into your body, less toxins going on your body, your body gets to relax more, your liver isn't going crazy, it doesn't have to like work all the time, then your skin can actually give like that natural glow for not a lot of things. I use the rose water spray too. And I mean, I will say like when you're at the beach, it is amazing to kind of have it to kind of get that like, do like you feel like all sweaty and nasty if you had to run into something, like if you ever left the beach and you feel gross, you kind of just like spray yourself with it and the peppermint will actually cool you down. So it's pretty cool. And this smells so good. I can't, I can't even, I'll put the link in this for there. Okay, so I'm gonna do a class in, I gotta figure it out, but I'm thinking after Valentine's Day, we will figure it out, we'll do a class, we will talk about it. Everyone can learn how to make quick little like face serums, they can test out different products. I'm gonna have all the different lotions out um, and then we can go from there. But just remember, like take time for yourself. You, there is no reason why you need to put 300 chemicals on your body in the course of a day and let alone 80 before breakfast. So pick and choose the ones you wanna put on there. Obviously not everyone's gonna remove everything and that's fine. We can only control as much as you can control. But this is something that's super easy and will actually make your skin look better as of having to put more on. Um, straight up, I don't wear makeup. Um, I should probably, but I am very like low bar. Like if I put on mascara and lip gloss, my kids think I'm going out somewhere. So this is pretty much what I do every day and I don't wear any makeup. Um, every once in a while I will put like a little, um, I have this, oh my God, ah, you guys just fell, sorry. Um, so I bought this like, you can actually buy like little glitter that you can actually add into. It's just, it's mica, okay? So it doesn't clog your pores. You can take a little bit of this and you can add it into your serum. Um, it gives me stuff like a little bit of um, like a dewy glow. Um, but what I do do, when I do put on makeup, um, it's always kind of hysterical. People are like, wow, look at you, you look very dressed up. So this is kind of like me all the time, very easy um, and going from there. All right, so if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, definitely if you're interested in the class, let me know. We're gonna put together some information. Um, I wish you guys an amazingly wonderful weekend and enjoy the sun because it's super cold out and someone said it's good to snow. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.